But look at the problems he has. He's pretty much mal-shaped um, due to MBD, metabolic bone disease. And you know, they say um, this could be from um, being raised indoors. Not sure if they like Missouri. They like it pretty much. And it's really good because uh, it has uh, more vitamins and minerals than you can provide feeding anything that you even grow in your own gardens. So we re recommend uh, Missouri for sure for any tortoise species. And. Uh, and what we do is we just take it and spread it among the ground on mulch, not on the sand if we can help it. And because uh, they do forage for their food in, in the wild, so we want them to continue as much wild behavior as possible. And watch, it's like fruit hitting the ground, they hear it. And they come. We just try to make sure we have it all uh, in multiple areas so that way nobody's fighting. Spread some more out right here. And then we'll introduce you to a new tortoise right there in that group named Gus. Hmm, before we go meet Gus, we'll check out the little sulcatas. Eating. And I know Sammy and Toby is in that group. The little red foots. Osmond, Daisy, Renegers. Um, I think I see Osmond right there. It's in this group. Unnamed Herman tortoises. Back to Gus. So. Gus. Gus has been here for about a week. You can hear him breathing if you pay attention. How you doing, bud? Can I move her out of your way real quick so you can get some more pellets? So we got a call from a woman in a rural area of our community who had Gus come up to her in her driveway. Uh, just walked right up to her, so we assume he was a pet. You want that, Gus? Oh, he seems like he loves human attention. But look at the problems he has. He's pretty much mal-shaped um, due to MBD, metabolic bone disease. And you know, they say um, this could be from um, being raised indoors. Hold on, let me put him back down on the ground. Oh, so they say it could be ra from being raised indoors. I mean, Gus could have been a pet belonged to somebody and just never went outside and maybe the first time he ever went out he uh, escaped. We'll never know. Or he was hatched in the wild and he never was exposed to the proper diet. Um, he could have been hatched right here in Florida in someone's backyard and nobody ever knew. Or he was just raised really wrong by a careless pet owner who never provided the right lighting or the right diet. But we have Gus here now at Crazy Critters because that community member reached out to us and uh, 
we appreciate her for that and I think Gus appreciates her for that because now he has I don't know more than 20 tortoises that he's living with and um, it allows them to have friends and maybe even partners. This female is eating pumpkin that we just harvested from our food forest. I mean it's August, the first week of August, and we harvested pumpkin to feed to the tortoises that we grew from donated pumpkins. How cool is that? So now we're Gus's forever home because the community member reached out to us. She said she had followed us for a little while and knew we had the Redfoot tortoise group here. Um, so now we'll have to watch and see how Gus grows and see if a better diet helps his situation and his terrible, terrible concaveness of his shell uh, change. Um, because as we know, I don't know if you guys do know, but as we've learned recently this last couple of years that pyramiding isn't necessarily bad, but the, when it takes into the dips into the shell, then it's more of a sign of MBD and not just pyramiding. And you see how he walks really low, he's not picking up his arms very high. I think that'll change and you're gonna, you're gonna be able to watch how he changes on a good diet with proper sun and good exercise and lots of friends. Breathing. Oh yeah, Gus was covered in ticks too. Well, apparently he had been going out in the briar bush. So what we did was give him a good bath with Dawn dish soap, blue Dawn dish soap, and we um, we just soaked him for a couple hours, and then scrubbed him down real good. And um, we didn't find any, so we're just going to keep watching um, to see if there's any any further issues. We had him in quarantine this whole week, so today's the first day he's been with the group. Uh, he seems to be nice and clean and no more ticks. And he likes Missouri, which will help that problem. You know how it's been so hot and um, this American is uh, trying to help uh, the turtle greenhouse right now. I'm going to take you out there and show you what he's doing. Uh, you know, the tortoises, they have the bamboo and shade structures, but the greenhouse, it's been really hot. I mean, I can't even film updates in there because the camera just shuts off. It gets so hot. So, uh, our friend Dan has come out, and then so what Ken did was he took the shade cloth off the whole greenhouse, flipped it in half, and it'll double the shade on this side. And then he purchased new shade cloth, and they're about to put that up on the entire thing, which will give us one, two, three layers of shade on the left side, and another layer of shade on the right side. And they're obviously allergic to work because they're sneezing. Morning time in the orange area has been so fun lately. Look at all these guys coming out for breakfast. I gotta go get some more Missouri because I just spread it all out. Um, but look who I did see eating. Hopefully she's still eating. Was eating. Maybe she just don't see it. Look, sweetheart, right here.
Uh, Can make me a liar. I'm working on my third team. You ain't got to lock in one. You can go like every other. No way. What the hell? Yeah, like, go and leave the space and go. None of us. You can't. I'm locking my third one down. Oh. Uh, right. Yeah. Got you. Okay, hold on now. This is a Florida box turtle for rehabilitation. Eating Missouri grassland diet.